we're standing here before you as an actors. But before all that, we're Tunisians. We come from a small country in North Africa. You don't hear about us that often, but we are here. Here with big dreams to meet the challenges and solve problems, even though they might not affect us directly. Because as an actors, we know that what goes around comes around. And as citizens of the world, we know that the problem of one of our own is a problem of all of us. That we can only prosper when we all prosper. We rise by lifting each other through entrepreneurial action. Because this is what entrepreneurial leadership is. That's what entrepreneurial leadership should be about. Through Enactus, we've met people we never thought we would meet. But we've seen things we never thought we would see. Him, the horrendous conditions he lives in, the struggles he faces to feed his family at the end of each single day. He will soon have to abandon his cattle because he can't live off of it anymore. He is the average Tunisian farmer. And he is the first in charge of the food we eat. On another note, milk shortages became very common and the price of red meat skyrocketing. But what really is the root cause of these issues? It is actually due to the number of cows that decreased by 8% in Tunisia. That happens because farmers often miss cows' heat periods since they only use unreliable and traditional ways based only on visual findings. Because of this, they suffer a shortfall of $540 per cow every year. Through our research, we found scientific articles that showed that a cow becomes particularly restless during its heat period. So we thought, what if we modeled the movements of cows during this heat period and used it as a reference to determine when a cow should be inseminated? And that's exactly how CowCheck was born. An easy to use, affordable and most importantly, efficient solution. CowCheck is a wearable device on the neck. It is composed mainly of a movement sensor. Thanks to machine learning methods, CowCheck informs the farmer by SMS when a cow has to be inseminated. CowCheck is the answer for small breeders with 2 to 10 cows only. These people form 95% of the Tunisian market. We're here talking about more than 100,000 breeders who cannot afford existing devices. We offer them CowCheck at the price of $49.5 per cow, including a free 12-month subscription. After that, the breeder will be charged with $22 per cow per year. It costs $30 to make one cow check, and our beneficiaries is a team of five multidisciplinary engineers. During the first year, cow check will generate $80,660 in revenues. But the need for such a gadget is not only present in Tunisia. In fact, there are more than 10 million cows all over North Africa with an unmastered insemination. And so, during the second year, we will expand to Algeria, generating more than $161,000 in revenue. And by the end of the third year, we will generate more than $274,000 in revenue. We're also working on adding a new feature, which is the geoposition of cows, in order to minimize cow theft. Cow Check started small, but grew big thanks to organizations that believed in the project. Within a year, we won many prizes, including Enactus Tunisia Race, Finance in Motion, and the Move G Prize, thanks to which Cow Check was present during an international summit in Paris, France. The impacts of Cow Check reached many scales, from individuals to entire communities, and here's how. It impacted the lives of five farmers. It offered five new jobs and so improved the lives of five families. It decreased the risk of missing an insemination and so helped five farmers save $47,000 per year. It increased milk and meat production, which led to their decrease of their market price, allowing them to be more accessible to a bigger part of the population. It helped preserve cattle species by increasing herd sizes. Meeting a challenge. Making a change. That is often the happy ending to any success story. But to Enactus members, these are only fuels to hard work and reasons to take bigger and bigger challenges. Let us walk you through another social adventure. One more entrepreneurial quest. Allow us, Enactus Insats, to show you what some of our days look like. 
in the middle of winter in most of North Africa. Homes and shelters are washed away. Lives are taken away. These past three years, 180,000 houses were destroyed and over 2,600,000 citizens were victims of floodings. Sadly, 1,400 inhabitants died this decade because of them. Now, these numbers reflect the reality of all of North Africa struggling with these problems directly related to blocked sewers. But it does not only concern this region, as 80% of marine pollution worldwide comes from unclean sewers. What about municipal employees? In Tunisia, for example, they work in unbearable conditions. These workers have to dive from head to toe inside dirty sewers to unblock them, risking their health, risking to catch malaria, corona, and so many other diseases, gathering and cleaning our dirt. عمال بلديه يهبطوا باش ينظفوا الروبارات نتلزوا على ساعه باش يهبطوا في وسطها كان سيدنا برشا وقت اللي يجي يقنص ويدز فيها ويهبط فيها الكل يهبط كله في الروبارات ويسبب لنا في تسكير الحلقوب اللي هذا اللي يصب في الدلون تاع مالهم All of this made us seek an answer to these daily problems faced by our community and through this quest one very simple yet revolutionary solution was born we called it Ziga filter Zigo filter is a graded metallic filter made to fit inside the sewers. It allows rainwaters to pass through normally, but retains big waste and mud so that they do not block the underground pipes. We took our time to develop and test our product, placing prototypes in two regions. And based on the feedback of the municipal workers, we transformed Zigo filter into an optimal method of cleaning the sewers. And here's how. With Zigo filter, workers don't need to dive in the sewers anymore. They only have to easily pour the waste from the cage to the garbage truck using large and practical handles. This way, the sewers are kept clean, which will reduce the risk of floodings and reduce marine pollution. Not only do we solve these problems, but with, uh, with, with Zigo filter, the cleaning process is now 15 times quicker. The cage only needs to be emptied once every six months and it only needs to be replaced once every seven years. And according to numbers given to us by a municipality we've worked with, we've reduced their spendings from $18,300 spent on renting cleaning machines to only $1,280 per year, which is 93% times less. حاجه اسهل وحاجه خلق العاد ولينا نهزوا فيها من فوق ما عادش نتاع الاوساخ ما عادتش ولات التفريغ اسهل الخدام معنا من اللي كنا نخدم مثلا 10 كعبات ولا 5 كعبات في النهار ونتجاوز حتى الدبل نتاعهم من الخدمه في سيركوي برشا ما تمنع برشا في هزانات بالكدا نحي اللي يهبط كان الماء برك حتى الدلو يبقى نظيف Even though we came with a cost effective solution municipalities were still skeptical and so we took advantage of a massive flooding that happened this year to mediatize Zego filter and to advocate for our solution. Result, the government itself got in touch with us. Soon after, we placed the very first official product all over Marsa, a region with 95,000 inhabitants, in Sokra, a region with 150,000 inhabitants, and Zahra, a region with 35,000 inhabitants. And to further guarantee its sustainability, we officialized Zigo Filter status as an enterprise run by three engineering students that also allowed us to protect our product with a national patent. Zigo Filter is the first student social enterprise to collaborate with the Tunisian government. It also won the prize of Best Environmental Project in Tunisia by Sprint and International Incubator. As for production, we came across an iron-making company that was going through some financial hardships and established a subcontracting deal with them. Today, they are in charge of the making of our filters. Now, it's time to talk numbers. Our primary client segment for this year is 65 municipalities, and we intend to cover 18% of them as our market share. Not only that, our client segment also expands to hotels and industries. Zigo filter comes in different sizes, depending on the client's needs. Its price varies from $55 to $110. As for the production, it costs $30 to make one Zigo filter. As for today, Zigo filter reached a gross revenue of $24,200, making a net profit of $9,830, and that by covering only 253 sewers out of the 63,000 present in Tunisia. By the end of this year, we will bring in 
thousand dollars in revenues and of course we will carry on evolving. By 2023 we will conquer the Algerian market. Starting with the capital Alger, we will place 1,685 Zigo filters. In total, Zigo filter will reach a gross revenue of $2,480,000 and it will mark the beginning of a new franchise. Ziggo Filter impacts our Tunisian country on more than one level, both directly and indirectly, and here's how. As an enterprise, Ziggo Filter created three jobs and thus improved the lives of three families. It impacted the lives of 27 municipal workers and their families. It revived the economy of a whole factory by helping them generate $13,000 and so offered a new source of income to all its 40 employees. It prevented three regions from annual devastating floodings and so saved 280,000 people from their consequences. Three municipalities will save a total of $50,000 each year by adopting our solution and thus reaching 10 SDGs. Zigo Filter and Cowcheck have been an entire journey. We have worked for 2,900 hours and traveled for 25,200 kilometers only to reach our goal. We directly empowered 80 families and indirectly empowered 280,000 people and thus reaching in total 13 sustainable development goals. My name is Dara. My name is Ayman. My name is Noor. We're proud citizens of the world with purpose, with strong intent, and we're bent on making our continent a better place. It's bigger than a competition, it's larger than life, but it's definitely not beyond our ambition. We are here! Eager to serve the earth, our continent, and our beautiful country, Tunisia. We rise by lifting each other, because we're believers, dreamers, fighters. We are in Actis Tunisia! Tunisia.